realize that my emotions haven't been working the best for me because I'm not where I want to be. I'm not where we want to be. So what is the structure that's going to get me to that? And what do you have? You have uh, 19 ways uh, to be divine, daily affirmation of loyalty, you follow the 19 affirmations. You have a lot of things that set you on your path. Non-dimensional program. If we utilize these things within our daily processes, then we automatically start to think a certain way. And so it says we're supposed to have unison and not harmony. You can hide bad sounds with playing along the way those bad sounds are, and it starts to sound like music. You see, but in unison, what puts us in unison? It's those pieces that tie into our culture. And then we start to think under the guise of one mind in the sense that, not that we're going to do the same things, but there's the essence to what we do. So now, if it's the, like, for instance, the 12 daily uh, uh, principles, right? And let's say cheerfulness. Now, cheerfulness is one of those principles. The way that you show cheerfulness may be different than the way she shows it. And then different from the way she shows it. You see? But we're coming from that same uh, perspective that we can have conversation. Well, how's that cheerful? Oh, it's cheerful because, oh, okay. We start offering different perspectives. Because there's 360 perspectives on anything. On everything. That's what a circle is. There's 360 degrees. Each part on the circle is a degree. So it's, it's, it's understanding in order to apply it, which is overstanding. So, it's that right intake of energy. Um, so, the discipline Would you say and that, self control. Go ahead. Sorry. Would you say that um, the 19 affirmations and those things that the masters place here for us is all meant to change the attitude of the people? Without a doubt. Your attitude links into your behavior. And your attitude about an object, your attitude about a person, your attitude about a situation influences the way you behave. You see, but those are things that we've learned. So, the elements of our culture are designed to get us out of that mind into our right mind. And though we have nine states of mind. Which one of those are you using? So that takes us right back. Which one are you using? Is it sound right reasoning? Which is the first state of mind. And they're sequential. Or are you using truth? So I can't get to using truth until I start to function Generally, with sound right reason. You can't talk to me about truth and peace until you already know and apply sound right reason. Because if not, you may be using for truth, you may be using six ether forces. You may be using deception. Sin, you may be using jealousy to determine what is truth. So until I start to function wholeheartedly, or more so in general, my general practices is sound right reasoning, then I can't even move through those other mind states. I use a form of truth now, we use a form of peace, use a form of justice, and then the last state of mind is actually success. So the master's still incarcerated because we haven't reached success. You follow? So, therefore, we're not successful. We're successful in the sense that's progressing realization of a worthy idea, but as a functioning mindset, as a body, no. That would be success in, in, in comparison to our culture. So, any questions on that? Before we go to the 